Hey guys, welcome back to Cards TV. Today we're going to make some cards for fall using these Dollar Tree stickers and this paper pad from Cartabella called Fall Break. Okay guys, let's get started on card number one. Now we're going to use one of my Cards TV card sketches. This is sketch number 54 and I have all the dimensions on here for you. And you can go over and pick up all 54 sketches at my blog cardstv.blogspot.com so our card base is four and a quarter by five and a half when folded i'm using a white card base then we have a mat this is a beautiful chocolate brown this is four and an eighth by five and three eighths and then this cute little mat with all these little leaves on there in different colors for fall and this mat is four by five and a quarter so I'm going to grab my glue, and I am using Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. This is my favorite. It does a great job. So I'll get that on the back and get these on the front of my card. I love these leaves on this little bit of chocolate brown showing through. Now, if we look at the sketch, we see we have three borders in three different sizes. And I've got a chocolate brown... This is a half an inch by five and a quarter. This was a sticker off the sticker sheet that came with that Cartabella paper pad uh, fall break. And I went ahead and cut off what I needed. This one is three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter. And I took the sticky off the back. And I'm going to show you in just a minute what I use to do that. So many of you have asked. So I'm going to show you what I use. Also, you've asked where I get the Barely Art glue, and I got mine at Amazon. But this one's going down next. And then for a little bit more color, I cut this one out of a beautiful kind of a marigold yellow and this one is an inch and a quarter by five and a quarter i love that so pretty now we look over at the sketch we have one mat that's two and an eighth by two and three quarters and i cut it out of the chocolate brown and then this cute little polka dot mat is two by two and five eighths i'm going to get these attached together and get these down not quite in the center, right about there. Okay, let me show you what's going on here. It's so cute. It's this little Dollar Tree sticker of a gnome. He's got a handful of chocolate chip cookies, and he's got a mug. I don't know if that's hot cocoa with whipped cream on top, or it could be a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking it is. But he's got leaves in his hat. Got a little argyle sweater on. So, so cute. But he is a sticker. He's a dimensional sticker. There's two layers and there's uh, foam tape in between. But he's very sticky. And y'all had been asking me, how did I take the sticky off the back? So I'm going to show you. I have this powder tool. I got this from Amazon. And I do not remember the brand name. Let's lay him down. And this cap's hard to get off. This is not my favorite. The powder doesn't really want to come out of this brush very well. Let's see. No, it doesn't say. But it is refillable. It would just take the cap off the bottom. And you can refill it. I would suggest using cornstarch. That's really good for taking the sticky off. But, like I said, it's not my favorite. It doesn't work quite as well as this powder bag. This comes in a little uh, resealable pouch. And the powder comes out very easily, as you can see from my hands. But the reason I like this so much is I can take my stickers and just lay it on here. And press it down. I don't have to be fooling around with that brush top that doesn't work and gets powder everywhere. I just keep this laying on my desk when I know I'm going to be using stickers 
and now he's not sticky on the back. This also came from Amazon, and I do not remember who this came from, but it's just called a powder bag. That's what I call it anyway. So now I'm going to put some foam tape on him and get him on the front of this little polka dot rectangle. And this leaf and this sentiment came from that Cartabella fall break uh, paper pad. So I thought that would be really cute on here. And it all matches so well. So we're going to put the little leaf right up here and fall fun right down here. Here's card number one using Cards TV sketch number 54. We've got a cute little gnome sticker from the Dollar Tree stickers. And we've got the leaf and the sentiment from the Cartabella Fall Break Paper Pad. I think it turned out so cute. Okay, guys, let's do card number two. Card number two is going to be a landscape style card. And we're going to use Cards TV Sketch number 43. We've got our card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I have all the dimensions on here for you. This is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. This beautiful chocolate brown. I just can't stop using it. I love it so much. And then we have the little polka dot mat. This is four by five and a quarter. That's going to go down first on the front of our card. This is a really quick and easy card, but it turns out so pretty. Now, if we look at the sketch, we have two borders. This large border is an inch and a quarter by five and a quarter, and the smaller border is a half an inch by five and a quarter. I'm going to change it up just a little bit. You can see this border goes all the way to the bottom of that first mat, but I'm going to pull it up just a little bit so we can still see some more of that cute polka dot. And then for my half inch border, I used chocolate brown again, and I hope you can see the scallops. I used the Cricut cartridge just because to cut this little scalloped border, and it is half an inch by five and a quarter. But that just because Cards cartridge has uh, two cute borders in it. The other one's a little bit wider, but this one was perfect for this card. And I'm going to turn it so the scallops are up and get that attached to the card. I just love all these papers on this card. They all came from that Cartabella Fall Break. Now, if we look at the sketch, we see we have a two and a half inch circle. I cut one out of some ivory cardstock and stamped so thankful on there. And then I backed it with this chocolate brown scallop circle and I used one of my really old scalloped punches for this. You can also cut a, a scallop circle with uh, Cricut Elegant Edges and that works just fine too. I'm going to go ahead and get this adhered right here on the front. And then this is a sticker from that Cartabella Fall Break paper pack. And it's got this beautiful blue pumpkin, and it matches this paper. And then these uh, fall leaves. I thought it was so pretty. I've got this on some foam tape, and I'm going to get this added right there. I think this is a very beautiful, elegant card. Here's card number two, made with Cards TV Sketch number 43. And the sticker and all the papers are from that Cartabella paper pack called Fall Break. And I think it is so pretty and has such an elegant look to it. But it was a quick and easy card. Okay, let's move on to card number three. Card number three is another quick and easy card. And we're going to use Cards TV Sketch number 48. This is a portrait style card. We've got our card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half when folded. Yes, once again, I'm using a chocolate brown mat. This is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. 
and then this cute little mat with the leaves is four by five and a quarter. This is going to go on the front of our card. Now, if we take a look at the sketch, we see we have eight squares. These are one inch squares. But what I've done, I went ahead and used a one inch punch and punched these out. And then I cut eight squares that are one and an eighth of an inch out of the chocolate brown and put behind the one inch square because I wanted it to stand out from that busy background with all those cute little leaves on there. So we'll do the last one and then we're gonna start placing these on our card front. And all you wanna do I liked, whoops, I didn't get that on there very well, did I? Let's use a little bit more glue on that. What I like to do is start in the corners of the card, putting my little squares down. There we go. I think it's going to stick. I probably got too much glue this time. <laughs> it's one of those days, guys. So let's go ahead and start adhering all these little squares on here. Starting in the corners. And this kind of helps you line them up. You get a visual of where each one needs to go. You want to try to get the same distance from the top and the bottom. That takes just a minute. And we'll do these corners. And we'll have these on here in just a minute. Let's go up here and do this one. We're going to line it up the same distance from the top as the first one, as well as the side. And we can go ahead and put this center one in. And see how that helps you line that up? So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting these squares all around my card. And then I'll show you what comes next. I think this looks so cute, so fall, and so country. I just love it. Now, looking at the sketch, we see we have another square that's supposed to go right here that's two and a quarter inches. But I'm not going to do that because I've got this cute little sticker from the Dollar Tree sticker set that says pumpkin patch on the little wooden sign. And then we've got some pumpkins and some sunflowers and it fits perfectly right there. Now I've already taken all the sticky off the back. We're gonna go ahead and add some foam tape to it and get it right here on the front of the card. That completes card number three, and I think this one is just adorable. I love that country look from these little orange gingham squares, and then the sunflowers and the little wooden sign. Just cute as can be. Now, this was made using Cards TV sketch number 48. Well, y'all, this video's getting pretty long, and we've got lots more cards to make, so I think we're going to end this one right here for today. This will be part one, and I think they all turned out so cute. If you have a favorite of the three cards we did today, leave me a comment below and tell me which one it is. I always love hearing from y'all, and I read all your comments. I don't always get around to answering all of them. I would love to, but I'm just so busy right now with canning and freezing and doing something I really love, which is making cards. And I don't always get to answer your comments, so please forgive me for that. But I do read every one of them, and I appreciate them as well. Thank you again for stopping by today, guys. And remember, I love you all. God bless you all, and I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.